Hello folks, on January 8, 2024, America's hopes for a 50-year anniversary moon landing took a major blow. Astrobotics Peregrine Lander, the first private spacecraft tasked with this historic feat, developed a critical fuel leak shortly after launch. Despite valiant efforts to save the mission, the lander was ultimately directed to a controlled re-entry in Earth's atmosphere, ending the dream of a 2024 lunar touchdown. Here's a closer look at this setback, its causes, and its implications. The mission and its promise. Peregrine, carrying NASA payloads and private lunar rovers, aimed to become the first American spacecraft to land on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. This mission represented a significant step forward in lunar exploration, symbolizing the shift from government-led missions to private sector involvement. Success would have paved the way for further commercial ventures and potentially laid the groundwork for a sustained human presence on the moon. The catastrophic must step. Shortly after launch, sensors detected a fuel leak, likely originating from a valve malfunction within the lander's propulsion system. The leak caused a significant loss of fuel, rendering the planned moon landing trajectory impossible. Engineers attempted to reconfigure the mission for a lunar flyby, but the fuel shortage forced them to prioritize the spacecraft's safety, opting for a controlled re-entry instead. Facts and Evidence this account is based on official statements from Astrobotic and NASA, alongside reports from spaceflight tracking websites and independent spaceflight journalists. Images and telemetry data provided by Astrobotic confirmed the presence of the fuel leak and the lander's subsequent trajectory change. Experts cited a history of valve issues in similar spacecraft as potential contributors to the malfunction. Implications and the future. The Peregrine's failure is a harsh reminder of the inherent risks and complexities of space exploration. It raises questions about the reliability of private spacecraft technologies and the need for rigorous testing before critical missions. Despite the setback, the lunar exploration effort continues. NASA's Artemis program aims to land the first woman and first person of color on the moon by 2025, with commercial partners playing a key role. Lessons learned from Peregrine will undoubtedly be incorporated into future missions, hopefully ensuring a successful return to the lunar surface soon. Remember. The story of America's moon mission in 2024 may have taken an unexpected turn, but it's not over. While the Peregrine's journey fell short, the pursuit of lunar exploration remains alive, fueled by unwavering ambition and the lessons learned from every challenge along the way. I hope this comprehensive video provides a factual and informative overview of the failed moonshot, highlighting the mission's potential, tragic demise, and ongoing implications for future lunar exploration. Thanks.